In the world of Anthem, becoming a freelancer is a dream come true for the many. You get to fight the bad guys, explore lost ruins, and fly with your heart's content. When you're a freelancer, you become a superhero of your own story. But not everyone can become a freelancer. In fact, becoming a freelancer is a risky job that only the best are capable of doing, but not even the best can survive the outside world at times. This hasn't stopped many from trying to become a freelancer though. In fact, there have been some ciphers who wanted to become lancers themselves. A cipher that becomes a lancer is a rare phenomenon for many to see. Such a person to exist shows how incredibly powerful they are. But like all good in the world, ciphers are too complicated of becoming a freelancer. Why? Well, let's take a look at the old tale about a cipher who wanted to fly, and the lesson learnt on the tragic day. Ben McZan, a brilliant cipher in his day, thought he could pilot a javelin whilst ignoring his own heightened awareness. Although his initial tests were encouraging, things were not so simple in the face of danger. He hired a freelancer to escort him in the wild. They hadn't gone three steps when they were attacked by a bunch of scorpions. In the heat of battle, Benwick could not focus. He found when one of the beasts attacked, his attention was split. Sensing a rise in shape of energy to the east, picking up Arcanus' distress signals, noting the rise in humidity due to the recent rain, and dozens of other things that did not help at the moment. He tried to fly, but accidentally fired his cannon. He tried to fire his cannon, but instead punched a nearby rock. He had no control, and tragically, it was he and not the scorpions who killed his escort. Many of you may have also noticed the stories share some similarities to the old Greek tale of Icarus. Both of the short stories focus on exploration of new ideas, and tragedy of the user, where they try something unknown but new, but fail to understand the risk they both have around their object of desire, and the consequences along with them. For example, both of the main characters were skilled in what they knew best about their abilities, but both failed to listen to the warning sign being made present to them, with a cipher knowing his heightened awareness could cause trouble, and Icarus displaying his father's words of concern. Both were not prepared for the shortcomings they were going to face, nor were both aware of the danger they were in, and sadly, both were not prepared for the outcome. So what's to learn from here? Ciphers, no matter how hard they try, can become lancers so easily, because of how far connected they are to the anthem, and how much risk behind using a javelin can be fatal in some cases to them. You see, lancers and javelins are connected to the anthem via gateway, but it's a single connection. Slim and direct, one way in and one way out. Ciphers on the other hand are already connected to the anthem, and for them, the gateway is not direct, but engulfing. Every impulse they feel around the world is with connection to the anthem. Javelins aren't designed to channel all these points, and if they did, there would be too many to start. For a cipher to master this, this would mean that they would need to manage two access points, with one focused on being the main direct key, while the other engulfs the user. It would cause too much pressure on the body to handle, and just like the cipher in our story, will cause a very horrific meltdown. However, it's not impossible to become both cipher and javelin pilot, like previously mentioned. Hard, yes. But impossible? No. Take a look at the monitor, who is apparently both a cipher user and a pilot. He has somehow managed to balance out a difficult issue that many have troubled with, and seems to show no signs of issues. The same goes for Owen, who is now in control of Helena's javelin. Both of these two users have now somehow managed to control the ability of the suits, but also being able to control their impulses of the world and the amp of creation. I would say they're the first of the kind, but not the last, to manage this uniqueness. And maybe in the near dark future of the game, ciphers will be called down upon to also take up arms and use their javelins to push back at dangerous foes. Maybe, but for now, cipher will just have to either stay where they are or keep trying. And that's the end of the lore video for cipher that wanted to fly, and some of the reasoning as to why they can fly slash can fly. It's quite a remarkable story as it does show us the limitations that ciphers have even though what they have could be considered a blessing to some. Anyways, more will be coming in the near future like this, so if you'd like to see more like this, then please leave a like, a sub, and share for more. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.